allí estoy entre mi país y el extranjero allí estoy allí What's going on here? This is the third time the Guatemalan consulate has come out from New York City to set up their mobile consulate in our parish hall. Yesterday they issued 220 passports and who knows how many they'll issue today and birth certificates and ID cards, all sorts of seven services. All sorts of issues about whether people should come undocumented or not come to the United States, but millions of people are here and so the church's attitude is that we, we serve, seek to serve the people who are here in our community. So. That's why we're doing this. And also, there's a, there's a very nice community spirit about it. I mean, there's a, a Guatemalans who are members of this church and other churches. There's a group being organized to uh, justice para inmigrantes, to try to change the laws having to do with undocumented people not being able to get driver's licenses, because uh, we think that people should be able to have driver's licenses and also, you know, pay their insurance, etc., so they're not driving around uninsured. And we think that only fools would rather have people be uninsured driving than, than uh, uh, let it, let it, giving them the opportunity to register their cars. And it's clear that after 9-11 there's an anti-immigrant anti spirit uh, in the United States and uh, it's a big struggle. I mean, Guatemalans and other people need to use their contacts through their churches. Many people are Catholic, many people are not, many people are Protestant, and they need to organize their congregations and let, let there be a great uproar saying that, uh, you know, let people work here, try to figure out how people can go forward. So it's a very complicated issue. It's terribly complicated. We've got to think a lot about it, pray about it, struggle about it, and yeah, change, change the heart of America. It's a country of immigrants, but immigrants came under such radically different circumstances. And, uh, you know, it was also a country where sometimes immigrants were not allowed to come from certain parts of the world. The Asian Exclusion Act is pretty clear what it was about. So uh, we have a lot of tolerance, but I think also there's a lot of challenge of feeling, and many people certainly feel overwhelmed by the Spanish influx of Spanish-speaking people. Spanish is such a strong culture, such a strong language in the United States, and people are not quite sure what to do with it. There's certainly a whole range of attitudes uh, towards, uh, let's say, undocumented immigrants especially, as to whether people have uh, a lot of compassion for them uh, or, or not. Certainly a difference between people who are political refugees, like I know families who, where they, they fled violence in Guatemala in particular in the 80s and, you know, were fearful of being killed, their kids are getting killed. So certainly America has a big heart for people in those circumstances. But for people who are just economic refugees and just come here to find a better life, that's a more difficult question as to whether they should be entitled to Social Security benefits, they should be, you know, who knows. But we need a whole big effort to think about these issues, educate the Guatemalan community and educate the North American community. We need like a university for immigrants. Entre la pared. Entre el dueño y el obrero, entre mi país y el extranjero, allí es.